water. Water is everywhere. 71% of the earth is covered in water. 1% of that is drinkable. Adult bodies consist of 60% water and a child's body is 75% water. In America, clean water is accessible to everyone, everywhere. Having clean drinking water is essential to life. That isn't the case for one third of the world's population. It is estimated that two billion people drink water with feces in it every day, which results in 485,000 deaths each year due to unclean water. The country of Peru is currently experiencing a water crisis. 45% of their rural population lacks any access to safe water. For the rest who do have running water, it still needs to be boiled for several minutes before it is safe to consume. Churches. Churches are everywhere in America. As a nation, America is approximately 40% Christian. Peru is 17% Christian. Christian churches are a rarity, especially in rural communities. That is why Live Church Knoxville partnered with Libertad Verdadera Iglesia, a local church in Tarapoto, Peru, to bring the word of Jesus and clean water to these remote communities. These supplies included rice, brown sugar, vitamins, and fresh water through water filtration systems. Because of these supplies and clean water, the local Peruvian church now has the opportunity to continue the relationship with the end goal of establishing Christian churches in these villages. As important as clean water is, nothing is more important than spreading the gospel of Jesus. Even the water filtration systems that will last for 10 years are temporary. In the book of John, Jesus is speaking to a woman who is drawing water from a well. He sees her thirst, both physical and spiritual, and offers her the thing she needs most. Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The water that Jesus is offering is eternal life. The water of eternal life satisfies something much deeper than our physical thirst. It washes us clean of our past, quenches our deepest longings, and provides refreshing joy. This eternal life is only available once we surrender ourselves to Him. Señor Jesús, en esta mañana, vengo ante ti, reconociendo que tú has muerto en la cruz por mí y mis pecados. Perdóname todos mis pecados. Yo te abro las puertas de mi corazón y te recibo como mi Señor y Salvador personal de mi vida. Yo confieso con mi boca que Jesús es el Señor y creo en mi corazón que Dios se levantó de entre los muertos por esta palabra que he confesado, declaro que soy salvo. Gracias Jesús por ser mi Señor. Amén. Un fuerte aplauso a Jesús.